Marvel's Spider-Man 2 has an opportunity to be one of the biggest PlayStation games of all time. And no, I'm not talking about the actual scale of the game. I believe that Spider-Man 2 has a chance to become PlayStation's all-time biggest seller. In this video, I'm going to break down all of the numbers and tell you why I believe Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be PlayStation's biggest game of all time. But before I get into the topic, my name is CBK, and I want to let all of the first-time viewers know that if you are new to the channel, I pretty much only talk about Marvel Spider-Man 2 here. I covered leaks, rumors, theories, and wishlist videos for Spider-Man 2. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and swing on into today's video. As of right now, The Last of Us and The Last of Us Remake Mastered stands as Sony's number one game sold. It currently has around 24 million copies sold. So in order for Marvel Spider-Man 2 to become Sony's best-selling game, that is the number we're going to be looking to hit. It's important to note that this isn't the first week sales or anything like that. This is the amount of units sold since the game's release. Currently, Marvel Spider-Man is sitting at second place with around 20 million units sold, which is insane considering the game has only been out for four years and The Last of Us has been out for nearly a decade. God of War is currently right there with 20 million units sold as well, so it's a bit of a close race. It's safe to say that with the release of God of War Ragnarok looming, that it's going to be in heavy competition with Spider-Man 2, especially considering that Ragnarok will be releasing on both PS4 and PS5, giving it an advantage. In June, a report came out that both Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales has sold 33 million units collectively. While Spider-Man isn't Sony's best-selling game of all time, it's clearly their best-selling game for the PS4. The hype for Marvel Spider-Man 2 is certainly building. I took a look back at the numbers and currently the Marvel Spider-Man 2 trailer is sitting at around 24 million views, which is the fifth highest viewed video of all time on the PlayStation YouTube channel. Not just trailer, highest video. Needless to say, people are very excited for this game. One thing to also consider is the fact that there will be a pretty large group of gamers who will likely be playing Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for the very first time on August 12th with the release of the game on PC. But I won't be factoring the sales of Spider-Man on PC because we're strictly talking about PlayStation here. I think that there is a chance that some, not all, PC players will want to get a PS5 to play Marvel Spider-Man 2 after they experience Spider-Man Remastered for the very first time. I don't think it will make a large contribution to the game's sales, but it's worth noting. The hype for this game is insane. I can see it in my comments all the time. People are dying for any bit of information or gameplay for Marvel Spider-Man 2, and the game is still probably around a year away from its release. I personally believe that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will outsell the first game, even if it does have a high bar to reach. But what about the other side of this? What are some things that could prevent it from becoming PlayStation's highest selling game? Well, let's start with the obvious. The PlayStation 5 problem. Back when Marvel Spider-Man 2 was revealed, it was announced that this game would be a PS5 exclusive which instantly put me into a panic mode because I did not have a PS5 at the time. Thankfully, that's been resolved and I now own one. But the PS5 is really hard to come by, and even if you do have the money for one, it's tough for people to justify purchasing one in the current economic state. Currently, the PS5 has surpassed 20 million units sold worldwide, and Sony has promised to significantly increase production efforts within the next six months. But as it stands, there are roughly only 20 million PlayStation 5s out there in the world. And as crazy as it sounds, not everyone who owns a PS5 will want to play Marvel Spider-Man 2. Being that Spider-Man 2 will be a PS5 exclusive, it could cause the game to have a slower start than Marvel Spider-Man on PS4. That is unless a larger number of PS5s are produced over the course of the next year. We also have to look at the competition. I mentioned before that God of War had around 20 million copies sold as well. Well, God of War Ragnarok will be releasing on PS4 and PS5, and believe me when I say that people are out of their mind excited for that game. There is going to be some heavy competition, especially with the game being released on PS5 and PS4, making it more accessible to other people. You also heard me mention before that Marvel Spider-Man 2 was the 5th most viewed video on the PlayStation YouTube channel. Well, guess what game has the 3rd most views? Hogwarts Legacy beating out Spider-Man 2 by 5 million views. Harry Potter is such a huge franchise and IP, and it may be the very first great Harry Potter game. I don't even like Harry Potter, and I'm going to be buying the game just to check it out. 
there is a ton of hype surrounding that game and it definitely will be a big competition for the sales of Marvel Spider-Man 2. With all of that being said though, Spider-Man is one of the biggest characters of all time and is a worldwide favorite, so I still have faith that it will beat out the competition. The only thing that could be standing in the way is a slower start given the PS5 problem. My hope is that they are able to ramp up production on the systems and get them out to more people quickly before Spider-Man 2 comes out. So with all of that said, I definitely think that this game has a very, very good chance of being the highest selling game for PlayStation of all time. Let me know what you guys think about the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up as it greatly motivates me to keep making videos like this one. But that's going to do it for me. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.